Back here in the Tri-State, a shooting in Evanston near Xavier's campus leaves a 25-year-old dead. His loved ones say they don't want him to be forgotten. WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian joins us live. And Anna, D'Amico Nelson's family told you he's not really even in that area. Well, Jasmine, they tell me he was giving a friend a ride, and that's why he was in Evanston in the first place. And police say the shooting happened here on Idlewild Avenue, which is near Listerman Brewing Company behind me. I thought it was a nightmare. These were Antonio Dorsey's first thoughts when he found out someone shot and killed his nephew. He and the rest of his family were together Wednesday, grieving their loss and remembering the 25 year old they called Miko. I used to call him Bob the Builder because that was his favorite cartoon. He played basketball, served in the Army, and was getting ready to start coaching basketball. But now his family is planning his funeral. I'm getting a victim at Listerman Brewing. Cincinnati police say Nelson was shot multiple times in the chest just before 10 p.m. Tuesday. They say officers found him at the entrance to Listerman Brewing Company near Xavier University's campus. Then paramedics took him to UC Medical Center, where police say he died. And authorities say a second man was shot in the cheek, but is expected to be okay. It was scary for a moment. Now it's just sad. It was sad to hear what had happened. Catherine Raynham lives on Idlewild Avenue and says she heard the gunshots Tuesday night. I was trying to evaluate where my housemate was and where the sounds were coming from and whether or not I needed to move to safety. To Dorsey, the shooting was senseless. It's getting ridiculous. It's every day, every single day. And he has a message for whoever pulled the trigger. Turn yourself in because you, you, you didn't took somebody's family member away from him, right? And police have not released any information about possible suspects, but they're asking anyone with information to call the homicide unit. In Evanston, Anna Izalian, WCPO 9 News.